Hey guys, and today I want to talk about a fundamental problem with using Facebook to attract leads and to attract clicks. So you can see right here, I'm on the Munchai Facebook group, and in this particular Facebook group, people who are launching products are trying to attract affiliates. And what they're hoping to do is get affiliates to click over to the JV page and hopefully sign up for the JP page. And you can see one particular post that really catches my attention, and this is by Peter Garrity. And notice that he put a large graphic that grabs your attention, and it actually has a call to action. It says, click here to join. However, when you click on the graphic, notice it just shows a larger version of the graphic that he posts. Now, this is not ideal, and this is not what he actually wants. The ideal thing would be for the graphic to be the link, so that way when you click on the graphic, it will redirect to the website that he wants you to go to. However, Facebook just does not have this functionality. With just using Facebook, you cannot post a graphic to a timeline or to a group that is also a link and that is also clickable. This is really unfortunate and it's a real hindrance because the graphic is what grabs people's attention. And by not allowing the graphic to be clickable, Facebook is putting a serious limitation on your ability to get clicks from your posts. This is where the Facebook link post plugin comes into play. It allows you to post linked graphics to Facebook, to your timeline, to groups, to your fan page, anywhere you like that will redirect people to your target URL when they click on the graphic. And let me show you exactly how it works. So to get started, I have installed the WordPress plugin into my testing site, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on Install New. It's going to ask me for a couple of settings. First, it's going to ask me if I want to use one of the stock call to action graphics that we provide in the plugin, or if I want to upload my own graphic if I like. For this example, I'm just going to use one of the stock graphics. So I'll select the graphic that I want. I'll just pick this uh, click here one. And then it's going to ask me for the URL where I want to redirect people. And for this demo, I'm just going to have them redirect to my personal blog. Last, it's going to ask me for the caption. And the caption is so I can identify what the post is for inside of my dashboard. So I'll just enter my first test. Then I'll click Save and Exit. The next step is to go ahead and share this on Facebook. To do that, all I have to do is click on the Share button, and this will take me over to the Facebook Share dialog. Now it's going to ask me where I want to share. For this example, I'm going to share it on my own timeline, and I'm going to make it just for me since it's just a sample. I can enter my post text, which can be anything I want, and uh, for this example, I'll just type in, this is my test, and then I'll go ahead and click the share link button. So let's go over to Facebook now and see exactly what this post looks like. So here we are on my Facebook account, and you can see this is the post that I just made. And now watch what happens when we click on this graphic. You can see it actually redirects over to my blog. With using this plugin, now I can post large call to action graphics that are actually links. Unlike the normal Facebook graphics, which will just show a larger version when people click on, I can actually post call to action graphics that stand out in the timeline, that grab people's attention, and that are also linkable, which could redirect to any website that I want. This is far superior to the normal posting a graphic and having a little text link that sometimes gets hidden inside of the post. With this, your call to action graphic not only jumps out at people, but is also clickable. This leads to just one thing, more clicks, more traffic to your target URL. Thank <laughs> you.